Did the Jackal hear you correctly? That you would at least consider a permanent alliance between your own Stone Cold self and the fair Elizabeth, which would enable you to take your rightful place as the true father of baby Stone Cold? I mean, it's, uh, it's up to Elizabeth. I mean, do you really think it's fair to, to dump the entire burden of choice on the maternal one when she's dealing with a crumbling marriage, taking care of the wee well, one and her why, own that's first That's why it's gotta be her choice, because she has a lot more to lose than I do. Well, maybe, maybe she's waiting for you to express your feelings on the subject. And those would be exactly what? W which again? would be what? Fine, I would want Elizabeth and her sons to move in here. Score. But not if she's afraid. Cameron, I want you to stand behind Mommy, okay? Don't even think about screaming for help. What do you want? Can you come with us? Morgan does what he's told. Nobody gets hurt. Leave them alone. Drop your guns on the ground now. This is none of your business, lady. Lose them or I'll kill you. Drop them. I mean it. Drop your guns on the ground. Get out of here. What did they want? From when I sat through the trial and I listened to what Rick told the jury, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a new father, but it, it, it reconfirmed how dangerous my life is. Trial's over. You've been acquitted. It... Yeah, but my life hasn't changed. You, but you want the small stone cold one with you. Not if his mother is afraid for him, Spinelli. J just consider Mr. Corinthos her son's right. Okay, I mean, he's the mob kingpin, right? The godfather so to speak, and, and yet his progeny remains safe. Yeah, all three of his kids were kidnapped a few years ago. It was horrible. Okay, I, I don't mean to disagree in a capricious or annoying manner, but all three of his offspring, they seem fine. I mean, I've only been briefly acquainted with the goddess in training Christina, but I've, I, I, I've observed Michael and Morgan in the comfort of Mr. Corinthoser's well-guarded estate, and they seem more than content. I mean, not, not every kid has an endless supply of automated toys or personal computers or their own limo and driver. Yeah, well, that's nice, but Elizabeth's not going to want her kids to be raised that way. Look, all I'm saying is that Michael and Morgan, they're thriving. They are, because Carly can handle the danger. That's my point. Mm. She protects her kids, but she's not afraid for them. Yeah, I, I know. I, I stand in awe of the Valkyrie. She is, without question, a fearless warrior. I mean... I mean, to, to venture abroad with the unhinged one to save you? I mean, that was courageous, if not a wee bit See, foolhardy. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Carly's not afraid, even when she should be. <laughs> oh, jeez. It feels so good to hug you. Knowing that it's not goodbye, that you're not going to prison anymore, I can finally admit how terrified I was. <sighs> well, uh, I owe Carly. She really came through for me. And I owe a lot of other people, too. <laughs> Does that include Elizabeth? Especially her. The footage of her hugging you is all over the news. I know, I know. Yeah, I was with Lucky when he saw you. He wasn't very happy. I can't say I blame him. Hey, Jace. I love Lucky. He's my oldest and dearest friend. But sometimes what you think you want is not always what's best for you. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Lucky and Elizabeth probably aren't gonna survive what happened in court. And I hate that. But I've been pushing Elizabeth to decide what she really wants for herself. Now that the truth is out, and I have a feeling that that might be you. You okay? That was scary, wasn't it? Thank you. You still haven't told me what happened. I was just, I was coming home and, and two men showed up. Well, what did they want? I don't know. I don't know, it happened so fast. What are you doing? Don't you think we should call the police? Why? Nobody's gonna catch her now. Two men with guns just came up to you and your family. I, I don't know, you, you could have been mugged or worse. At least we should file a report, don't you think? 
Yeah, okay, call the police. Here you go. One was taller than the other. The, the short one had on all black. The taller one, he had on like a gray shirt. Why were you in the park? My car's in the shop, remember? You could have taken the bus. Do you want to hear the rest of the description or not? They both had gloves on. Which is probably why you won't get much off of those guns. Sam risked her life to defend these boys. What were you thinking going after this? I guy? didn't. I, I didn't think at all, actually. I, I saw that they were in trouble and, you know, I, I reacted and then, and then we called the police. Um, if you hadn't shown up, I don't know what I would have done. So why do you think they were targeting you and your kids? I don't know. It was, it was a blur. I was just really scared for my boys. Well, they're fine, Elizabeth. Thanks to Sam. Elizabeth's my best friend. I've been picking up on some things for a while. Jace, I know how much she cares about you. And how close you both still are. I always thought that she was going to end up with Lucky. But he is angry with her all the time. Jace, when Jake was kidnapped, he really lashed out at her. He wanted his life with Elizabeth to be perfect, and it's not. And yes, Elizabeth was wrong to marry him without telling him that she slept with you first, but he's made some mistakes, too. I don't know. You know, maybe they're both at the point where they just need to let go. I mean, any decision Elizabeth is going to make is going to be about what's best for her kids. OK. So what if she decides that you're what's best for her kids? If Elizabeth wanted to make something work with you, how would you feel about it? Look, Emily, you know I love you, but this whole situation is just a huge mess and you would be better off if you just stayed out of it. It's good to have you back. You know, uh, Carly was pleased she could help you out. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, not that I condone her running off with that nutcase to help you or anybody else. I'm just glad you're back with Sonny full time. <sighs> yeah, me too. You know, hotel security really wasn't my thing. Although working with Mrs. C was great, and she was very appreciative. She never really listened to my security advice. But let's face it, Carly never really listens to anyone but you anyway. You were in charge of the security installations for Sonny and Carly. I want something similar here. But you already have bulletproof glass. Yeah, I know, Max, but the windows in here are too small. You know, I want to let more light in. I don't want this place to feel like a prison. Yeah, well, I don't blame you there. You spent a long time in jail. <sighs> then get with Spinelli, coordinate the uh, security cameras and whatever other surveillance you guys need to take care of. What's up? Is uh, somebody threatening Spinelli? It's just that you've never wanted this kind of security here before. The boss in Mrs. C did it because of the kids. Jason? Hey, how are you? Uh, can you meet me at the Overlook? I have to talk to you about something important. 